Hi, Exhausted, I'm Catharsis, and welcome to another video, Ark Knight Song. Uh, this is one that somebody on Patreon wanted me to do, so here we are. Obviously, I'm just screwing around. I am very tired, but that's not, I'm not so far gone that I can't listen to songs. I know that you guys have been wanting me to listen to the Ambient Synthesia songs for a while, so somebody on Patreon wanted me to listen to them too, and they sent me one as part of the priority queue. So here we are. Let's give this one a listen. Apparently, David worked on this one as well. A boy David? You know David. David. Anyway, <laughs> without further ado, let's get into this song. Hopefully it wakes me up a little bit. Let's go. Ooh. Crank this one a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Have you ever taken the shack on? question. question why the ones with our kind of complexion. This build, what? It almost started like a Middle Eastern influence and then it changed to this. It still has that bass on there, but it immediately went more metal. God, if anything was gonna wake me up right now, it was this. Man! That offbeat China symbol. Yes! Mm. Throwing a little bit of some, uh, some flavorful, some, some drums in there that are just like uncommon. This isn't a drum part, this is a percussion part. <laughs> like mostly headbanging. I'm I'm not even talking about the song much. Okay, bring him back in. I like Middle Eastern. Gorgeous tone. The singer's hitting those notes too. Some of those vocal runs are not easy. That was fun, that's... He's got such a good power in his voice. He sounds familiar almost. Has he done has he sang on another Arcanite song before? 
back to that offbeat. Mm. I actually wonder if that's a, a stack, not a China. Doesn't really matter. Either way, it's sick. Great way to end it too, reintroducing those uh, ethnically accurate instruments and having those in the mix. I love it when music does that, especially when it's music that's blending different genres together and they pay proper respect to the genre that they're borrowing from and being inspired by. I love that so much. But absolutely a fantastic song. Excuse you? It is two in the morning. I usually wouldn't be recording quite this late, but... I just, I'm tired today. Things have been going a little slow, and not anymore. <laughs> My brain has woken up for a second breath. I think I'm going to have a bowl of ice cream after I record this, just because I want to. I'm feeling good now. I have the energy. That was so fun. It's been a while since I've even heard the, like, offbeat. I, I'm, again, I'm pretty sure it was a China, could have been a stack, but that, like, sketch I love that. It's one of my favorite drum grooves. I love the way it sounds. I love the feel it brings. And of course, being surrounded by all of this culturally diverse sound. It's just, mm, oh, ooh. It's a bunch of my favorite things all in one. I love music that's not boring, bland, and inspired by the same 10 things. I like things that do expand and visit these other parts of the world and I talk about that a lot especially Genshin music has done that a lot and I've talked about it a lot in recent videos for those and it's just a, a welcome thing every single time I love the vocalist he was so strong like I said I'm pretty sure I've heard that voice before I might be mistaken but I think I've heard him do other Arknight songs but I can't put my finger on what they would be the guitar was sick I wasn't really commenting on that because my brain was just taking in all the percussion there was so much percussion. If I knew how to exactly break down every little bit of percussion in this video, I would, but I was just vibing with it. Everything sounded organic and natural. Nothing sounded forced, like they were trying to shove something in there that just wasn't gonna blend well. It all felt very good. And that is the biggest thing you can ask when you're listening to a song. Obviously, I've talked a bunch about how I believe that Arknights, in the Gasha scene at least, production-wise, are still number one. And they're going to hold that crown for a hot minute. Their variety, their quality, no matter who they hire to write and produce their music, they always hire brilliant minds to do so. And it's always consistently good. There was a lot of phrasing in this song, and that's something that is hard to get right without it feeling overbearing. By that I mean just how every part of the song felt somehow so unique to itself but also conformed to the overall tone. This is something that you find a lot when people are doing scores and everything kind of has a place but you have to match an overarching feeling but there are so many movements in this one it was almost like a symphony of metal which is just a sick sentence to say. <laughs> I love the way that sounded. I believe this is the first song since I became partner that I've had to bleep out a moment in my actual reaction, which should speak volumes for how floored I was with the quality of this song and the direction it took right off the bat. I loved hearing that, and like I said, it woke me up a bit. I am no longer the tired guy I was at the beginning of the video. I am awake, I am functioning, focused, and ready to take on the world, all because that song lifted me into that position. Fantastic. With that said, I think I've said all I'm going to say about this song, so thank you all very much for watching. If you want to support me, feel free to do so. You know how to do it, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Ha <laughs> ha!